All right, brace yourselves. This is pretty gross, uh, but uh, you're going to hear this. Turns out that the break room in your office, nastier than you probably ever imagined. Alina Cho explains just how germ-infested it is and how you can protect yourself. We're here in the CNN break room. Remember, this is the place where you take your lunch out of the fridge and put it in the microwave. Well, listen to this. According to a new report, you got to beware. The break room is crawling with contaminants. And how about this? It's actually safer to eat your lunch off a toilet seat than it is your desk. Now, here in the break room, if you think about it, there's lots of traffic, a lot of people touching the same small spaces over and over again. So the company, Kimberly Clark, which makes Kleenex and other household cleaning products, took 5,000 samples from company break rooms. And here's what they found. High levels of contaminants in 75% of sink faucet handles. So this right here. And the sink's not so clean either. 48% of microwave door handles. That's this right here. And 26% of refrigerator doors. Everyone uses the fridge when you come to work. Now, germs that can make you sick. We're talking about colds, the flu, norovirus, which can result in stomach pain and vomiting, or MRSA, which causes skin infections. Now, it's important to note that CNN talked to independent experts who backed up this study. So how do you protect yourself from getting sick? The best advice is to wash your hands with soap and warm water. That may seem obvious, but this may not. After you take your food from the refrigerator or microwave, wash your hands before you take it back to your desk. That'll help. And if you don't have access to soap and water, then the CDC says use a hand sanitizer. It's just good advice to, to go out and buy one. Finally, if you come in contact with one of these spaces, try not to touch your eyes, your nose, or your mouth right away. That is the easiest way for germs to get into your body and to make you sick. Alina Cho, CNN, New York. All right, if that didn't make you sick, uh, they call this meat glue. It is a product used to keep meat stuck together. Uh, it's been added to meat for decades without most of us knowing it. Should we be concerned? We're going to find out.